Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jamal. I hope you guys are all doing well. Now, uh, I know it's been a really long time since I made a video, but honestly, that's just because there hasn't been a whole lot going on with the car lately. I've just been driving it, so I haven't really had anything to film. But today, we finally are installing something on the Corvette, that being a Tick Master Cylinder. Now, uh, a Tick Master Cylinder is uh, made by a company called Tick Performance, obviously, and um, so it replaces the uh, master cylinder, the stock master cylinder, and the benefit of the tick is that it is adjustable. So you can adjust the uh, clutch, like uh, basically like when the clutch is released and when the clutch is engaged and stuff like that. So uh, the reason I am getting this is because that sometimes driving it lately, I've had some issues getting into first gear and getting into reverse. And then also while I'm like racing or something uh, in between shifts, like high RPM shifting, sometimes it's hard to get into gear and sometimes it's even hard to get out of gear. So I know this could be a number of things just from uh, setting my symptoms and a lot of you guys might be going, it could be this, it could be that, it could be this, but the Tick Master Cylinder is something I've wanted to do for a while and I finally have a good enough excuse to do it. So today I'm going to try to go over the procedure. Uh, now you guys gotta remember that I'm not a professional mechanic, so stuff that I do here may not be right, may not be wrong, but uh, I just kind of want to show you guys uh, the process as I go through it myself by following the instructions and like a couple forum posts that I found. Uh, one thing I did notice though that there, for the C5 at least, there aren't a whole lot of uh, DIY instructional videos and stuff like that uh, on YouTube or on the forums or anything like that, so hopefully my video will help you guys uh, kind of understand uh, the install process and maybe help you guys if you do decide to purchase one for yourself. So without any more further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so here's what actually comes in the package. You get a few zip ties, you get the actual master cylinder itself here, um, the line that goes with it and the little uh, reservoir thing that attaches here to the top of it. And then you get a two page uh, instructions. Uh, basically they're all written instructions, there's not any pictures or anything. so. Uh, that's another reason why I'm making this video to kind of help you guys hopefully understand everything that goes into it. <clears throat> so, like I said, made by Tick Performance, and uh, the actual master cylinder is made by Tilton, which uh, it's like a clutch company. They make a whole bunch of uh, high-end clutches and stuff like that for like twin turbo Lambos and stuff. So, obviously, it's going to be a great product, hopefully. So, uh, one thing I want to say is that. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I purchased this thing for myself, bought it at full price, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to install it today. Also, another thing I wanna let you guys know was that this is uh, $304.99, I believe, on Tick's website, and I'll link that in the description below. So, let me show you guys what I've done so far. A few things I've done so far is uh, I took the driver's side seat out. Now, this isn't necessary, but it's gonna make your life a lot easier because you're gonna have to kind of lay down in the floor and like work upside down here in the clutch area basically and so this hopefully should uh taking the seat out should help with that because you can land your back and work uh work uh i guess in the optimum position and then another thing i did was i uh i went ahead and took the driver's side wheel out as you can see there and so uh the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the line and to do that we're going to have to remove this little uh cover here on the fender and this is done by removing these little seven millimeter bolts here so I'm gonna set the camera down and I'm gonna get that off So with this panel removed, coming inside, you can see the stock master cylinder, which is uh, right here, this thing right here, and it goes into the firewall and then connects to the clutch on the other side. So uh, I believe the next thing to do is uh, disconnect the line that goes from the master cylinder to the uh, slave cylinder. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me try to show you guys where this disconnect is at. It's actually extremely hard to get to. So if you come through here, kind of where the headers are. I have aftermarket headers, so it's going to be even harder. Uh, zooming in, let's see if you can see it here. That thing right there, you can see it. That right there is the line that connects from the master to the slave. So that's the thing that you have to disconnect. Um, it's going to be extremely hard for me because I have the long tube headers, so I'm going to try to get it from underneath the car. 
Uh, not sure that I can really show it to you guys while I'm down there because I'm going to need both hands to do it. But uh, I'm going to try to get this off. Hopefully I don't have to take the header off because if I do then I'm kind of screwed. But hopefully I can get to it without having to take the header off. So uh, I'm going to get on in there and try to get it. So I finally got it undone like an hour and a half later. Um, there's a little plastic clip basically on that uh, on the master side. Right there you can see. It's got a little ring around it and you have to push that plastic ring down to get it out of there. Um, they actually make a tool for this which I didn't know and I didn't have. So I spent like the last hour and a half freaking fighting that thing trying to get it to come out. And I finally ended up using like a valve spring removal tool I had actually to get around that ring and push it in and I was able to get it out. So now that's finally out we can proceed with our next step. So coming inside the car the next step is to remove this uh, little plastic cover here. So you can gain access to the uh, master side of the clutch inside. So I'm going to put the camera down and get inside the car and try to remove this. I got that panel removed. The light here, uh, the light that's in there, like the footwell light, it just pops out of that little panel and you just kind of leave it there. But if coming underneath here, the next thing you had to do was remove that retaining clip that held that master cylinder in there. As you can see, uh, here's the clip. Let me see, I have to turn it on. Yeah, basically, here's a clip that holds that rod onto the uh, clutch pedal there. So I just kind of like messed with it with a flathead and it kind of came off. And then back up underneath here, uh, you can see, let me adjust it. You can see the rod and this just kind of like, what I did with that was I just kind of like grabbed it and pulled it off and then let it hang and then I think the next step is to uh, pull the dead pedal off here the fourth pedal we're gonna pull that off and then we're gonna pull the uh, master out so that fourth pedal is out the dead pedal and now we're gonna actually remove the master cylinder itself from the uh, car so and apparently all we have to do is twist it counterclockwise and it should come out so I'm gonna try that here real quick. Counterclockwise. Boom. See that? So checking back in, I undid these little rubber clips here that hold the master cylinder, the reservoir, into place here. So like the clutch fluid reservoir, uh, one there and one there, and then uh, once that was undone. I went ahead and just kind of messed with it and pulled and pushed and pulled and uh, finally I probably messed with it about 15 minutes and it finally came out. So there's a hole in the sidewall or the firewall there where it goes. You can see that the uh, whole uh, master cylinder where the reservoir is out. So we actually reused the reservoir with the uh, new tick master cylinder but everything else is trash. So. Um, now that that's out, we're going to go ahead and pull the clutch pedal assembly out. I finally got the clutch out of the car. There's three 13mm bolts I hold on. There's one there, one there, and one in the back. And it's kind of mounted up like this, if you can imagine, in the car. So it was kind of a pain to get it out. A gear wrench is what they recommend to get it out. So that's probably what makes it the easiest. It's a, it's a tedious process, but it'll come out. So now that this is out, we got to pull the helper spring because it says you don't need that anymore. And then we've got to drill some holes back on this plate where the actual uh, where the actual master cylinder comes through. So there's a little template they provide which just sticks on here and then you can drill the holes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the helper spring off. So the helper spring is off as you can see. Came off fairly easy. And now we're going to drill our holes in the back here. Let me get that template. Alright, so now that I have my guide holes, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the 3 8 3 8 uh, drill bit because that's the side it's supposed to be, so. Hit it with this.
This is it with the master cylinder in place. As you can see there, uh, I tightened up the screws there and then that's in there. So basically, it says to put these as bottom these out here, the adjustment on the turnbuckle and everything. And that's going to be a starting point that says leave everything loose. And now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, clutch pedal back in the car. So update for you guys. I've got the uh, clutch assembly back uh, installed again. And then I got the uh, master connected into the clutch as well. Uh, right now it's just really, uh, right now there's not a whole lot of play in it because we haven't adjusted it yet. But yeah, that's in there. And then coming around here, coming around here, we can see that we have the uh, actual master cylinder coming out the other end. I've got it connected to the OEM reservoir. I got it zip tied as you can see. And then I got the little connector here uh, tightened down with the little plastic piece that's provided. And then I've, I've also put the, uh, the line on that goes, to the, uh, that goes to the slave cylinder. And that's tight and I just gotta reconnect that to the slave. And then just bleed it and it should be done honestly. So uh, let me do that and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so obviously it's the next day now. As you can see, I've changed out and everything. So last night where I left off, it was getting really late and uh, I had a really hard time getting that quick disconnect, that quick disconnect back in. But uh, I eventually did finally get it and then that was like the last step and I buttoned everything back up, put the seat back in, put the covers back on and bled the clutch. I have a remote bleeder so it makes it a lot easier to bleed. But yeah, by the time I finished it last night, it was like 9, 9.30 and like it was really dark. So I uh, decided not to film anything because it really wouldn't, you really wouldn't even be able to see anything. But everything's good now. Immediately one thing you'll notice is the clutch pedal is a lot stiffer, which uh, isn't a bad thing. It's actually, uh, it actually feels better to me in my opinion. But the best thing about this whole thing is look at the, look at it getting into gear now. So uh, first gear goes right in, reverse goes right in. Like, I don't think you guys understand. My car was getting so bad to the point where I literally had to like, I had to like jam it into reverse, like with two hands. But now it just slides right in. Slides right in. It's amazing. That right there was worth it alone. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera, hopefully in a spot where you can see the shifter and I'm gonna go take it out for a little spin, rip through some gears and show you guys uh, the benefit of this master cylinder. So let me get this camera set up and then we'll go. Okay guys, now let's just get one thing straight before I end this video. By no means is that easy install process. It's actually a huge pain in the ass. My back hurts. I have cuts all over my hands from yesterday, but honestly, after driving it, I think it's well worth it. As you guys could saw there in the video, it's well worth it in my opinion. No more issues getting into first gear. No more issues getting in reverse. Like I literally had to like use both hands, like I said, and like shove that thing in reverse to get it to go. And now it just slips right into reverse, which is awesome. So. Uh, Definitely, uh, install is not for the week, but you got you guys got to be patient. Maybe give yourself two days, honestly. Maybe split it up between two days. Give yourself plenty of breaks, and uh, it, it won't be too bad. I was just kind of racing against the clock last night, and it, that's why it got kind of like uh, annoying, I guess. And also, make sure you take that seat out because that does really, really help. I can't imagine doing that with the seat in. I know some people have done it before, but definitely do yourself a favor and take the seat out. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys did learn something. Sorry for like my shitty editing, but. Uh, hopefully that uh, 
hopefully you guys did learn something and as always I'd like to remind you guys to please comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.